All right, so this is going to be a quick demonstration with um, how to use the type tool in Photoshop. So this is actually pretty easy um, to do. Uh, basically, we just go on to the toolbar. Uh, you know, this is the type tool that you're going to use. And you have a couple different options with, um, with your, uh, your type tool. So for example, uh, you have one that's like horizontal type tool, then you have one that's vertical. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward though. You know, horizontal. And every time you click on here, it's going to create a whole new layer. And you want to make sure this layer is on the very, very top. Because I'm actually going to have this in front of everything else. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to click on here. Let's actually create a new one. Let me keep this here. So, I just dragged it in trash bin. That throws it away. Um, but I'm just double click on here. I'm just going to type in my Darth's name, my Yumi. Give me one, and you know that's basically that you want to get started off with the type tool. So you can actually, after you're done, you can click on this move tool here, move it around. You do Command T as in turtle. You can transform it. You, know, you can change the size of it. You can rotate it. So there's a couple different options you can do for like the um, the words. <laughs> All right, so. Um, and I'm just gonna put it here just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now, with the type tool, though, you know, there's, you know, there's not the obvious, you know, command T as in turtle transform. You can also change it other ways too. If you double click on here, uh, it's gonna highlight the entire where I just double clicked on the T. Make sure not to double click on here because that's the name of the uh, layer. So just double click on here, make sure that's highlighted. Uh, you have a lot of um, different fonts to choose from. So. It's a little hard to see the font for where it's at, so I'm actually going to move it. You know, obviously, let's see it up here for now. <laughs> and you know, the nice thing about Photoshop is, you know, you can actually, you know, do your fonts any way that you want, and you know, and then you can kind of like move and change it later. So it's not like it's set in stone where it's at right now. But, you know, you can just play around with it. So you know, I'm trying to find something a little bit playful. Um, I feel like this one's pretty good, the the chalk duster. <laughs> Funny name for it, and you know this is a pretty good font to use uh, for this one here. I'm actually gonna erase this part here, so we don't really need this. So I got Ayumi here. And then you can change your colors too. Maybe I might do like a pink. Cause that's their favorite color is uh, this pink here. So we got pink. You can also change your size um, on here too. Uh, you type in a number, you can get it even bigger. Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do with it. I'm going to keep it at 80. So I think 72 is pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, that's pretty easy, though. You know, you can add words, things, or, you know, if you want to actually type in your, like, entire journal entry. Um, let's see if I can find my journal entry. So... Here we go. So I wrote, you know, the most beautiful thing I have ever seen is my daughter Ayumi growing up. Let's do like dot dot dot. <laughs> Each day she is growing more and oops. I'm kind of following along with how my how my senses look, but you know you want to make sure it's like I'm gonna try to like line it up so she is growing more and more these past few days. Days she has learned to put words into sentences and even. Um, on run on her own. That's kind of like a really short entry that I put here. So, you know, you can kind of think about like how you want to arrange or um, put this, you know, paragraph that you wrote. I didn't exactly write a paragraph, but you can also change like the orientation too. So, you know, you can add it to the left side, to the right. It's up to you. Like, I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. I might actually use this as like a texture for the background. I think that'd be kind of like interesting to do. Let me 
maybe have this like up here. Oh, really slow. So, you know, I might put it up here. And I might actually put it in the very back of the layer. So on the very back, it'll overlap like everything that we've done thus far. And, you know, just like I showed you before, you know, you can actually duplicate this layer. But even if I duplicate, I might change the opacity and have it a little bit more faded. You know, this would be like a nice little texture in the background I can use. Um, you know, that's just like one idea you can do with your, you know, text and words. So, you know, I'm just making some copies here, moving it around. Yeah, be a nice little detail in the background. <laughs> Uh, you know, I can add layer. If you want to, you can actually di add this all diagonal too. That's a movement. So I'm actually holding shift to select all these separately. If you just click on it, it'll just click on it. If you hold shift, it'll select all of them at one time. <coughs> you can do command T as in turtle. You know, if you want to, you can add everything to like a slight angle to make it a little bit more interesting to look at. You know, it's just like I mentioned before how the layers work. It's, you know, you're basically, you know, adding it in different areas. So this is like in the very, very back of the picture now. <laughs> and I'm going to use this auto select because it's going to let me just click on, I guess it's not doing it for this, but uh, you can click on each of them separately, move them around. Maybe I, I'm going to add one more up here. So there's a couple of things you can do with this, you know. A lot of options. <laughs> Select them all. Wait out a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the name here. So if you want the name to pop out, there's other effects you can do for um, the words. Again, you would double click it on here. Um, it's a 3D button, but I don't really like messing with it. But you can um, right click on here uh, on the T, and you can use the blending options. And this is this is I feel like this is like the funnest thing to do the blending option. So like you know if you click on stroke here, it basically creates like an outline around the edges of the word. I can't see it because it's far away. <laughs> you click on stroke and then you click on the actual tab. So this actually checks off that you're using it. And you click on this tab, you can actually change the um, the look of the picture. So you know you just play around with these um, areas. So uh, I click on size here, maybe leave it on the outside. So now it's actually popping out on the out outer way. <laughs> yeah, you can pop out things, you can you know fade it out just like I showed you before. Uh, you, know, you can even change the color of it too. So maybe I want to do like a, a dark red as opposed to like a black. So you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You can add like shadows to the word. You can change the angle. You know, there's a lot of things you can play around with in this the words. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go like super crazy with it, but you know, this is just a couple of things you can do with the type tool.